So let's look at adding a new product to your WooCommerce store. The first thing that I've already done here is I have, uh, have would like to filter the products. So I'm going to look at just the section or just the category that I'm going to be working in. I find that's easier for me to keep track of what I've added. And then I have my text document over here that I'm using for my product data. And I have my folder with all of my images already titled the same as my SKU number and the same as my product number so that it's super easy to match things up as I'm adding my product. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Product. And I'm going to copy and paste the title of my product. Paste that in. And I'm going to then get the description of my product and paste that in. Since we're working in the Hawaiian language, I always like to double check and make sure that I've got a, an apostrophe for an apostrophe and not an okina for an apostrophe and vice versa. And then I set my SKU, copy and paste that and put that into the SKU. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my images, add my media. So I copy and paste the title again. I make a note of my SKU just for double checking that I'm going to get the right images. So it's 139 when you were born and I look in my images there's 139 when you were born and I just drag those over. While that's happening I paste the title into the title field and the alt field and I do that on both images so that everything is identical and consistent across the site. Those were saved automatically and then I close that window. Next I go ahead and choose my product category, Inspirational Blessings, and I scroll down and I'm going to finish with my images by setting my featured image. And it's going to be the small one, the square one, 300 by 300, so that your uh, product listing pages are very consistent and all have the same size image. So I set featured image and it confirms that that is there for me. Next I'm going to go ahead and add my product data. And so I first thing I do is I choose a variable product because we have attributes and variations. First I'm going to go ahead and add my attributes and we're going to expand all and let's just add blessing size. It's the first one I'm going to add and I'm going to select all and I'm going to click used for variations because each of these has a different price variation. And then I'm going to choose my second product attribute which is signature options. And I'm going to click add and I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to add all of these. If for some reason you didn't want to include one of them you could click the little X and then exclude it for this particular product. And then I'm going to click used for variations. At this point I'm going to save my draft. It's very important that you save your draft so that when you go to variations you can see the attributes that you have attached to this product. So now I'm going to go to variations and I'm going to add a variation. And the first one is my smallest, lowest priced blessing size and all I have to do is add the price in here. I can ignore everything else for this particular store and then I'm going to add another variation and it's going to be the second blessing size and I add my price. I'm going to add my third variation and my price and my final variation which is the most expensive. Now I don't need to do anything for my signature options because they do not have a price attached to them. They're all free. So I don't have to do anything else except scroll up, perhaps add a few tags here. I can choose from my most commonly used ones if I want. So I definitely want blessings, I want Hawaiian, I want inspirational, and you can always add more tags when you come back. 
And if you want to be using the SEO, at this point you can come down and add your uh, additional SEO information. But for now we're just showing how this product gets added, so I'm going to stop here. At this point I like to preview my product and make sure everything's working the way that I like it. And sure enough, I've got my nice image here. I've got my full size image. Let's double check that. Yes, that looks correct. And I test a few options. And that is correct and making sense. So everything looks good. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to publish. And now I'm going to go ahead and continue my work and add another product.